Welcome back, episode 65, revisited, actual official episode after the DSP thing, where I say we're back, but this guy's like, eh, We'll see maybe, after this one, because DSP is just a fountain of conversation and talking and stuff like that, so it's not fair to compare. Yeah, I could, I could be in on my deathbed from cancer, all this chemo, and then you just wheel in a DSP video, and I'm up, and I'm cartwheeling, I'm getting angry, and that was especially bad. Uh, on top of that, I somebody asked how long we've been watching Phil, and I realized just how long I've been consuming him. Mm-hmm. And you weren't too far behind. Yeah, no. It was, um, for me, it was after you... Yeah, in the beginning, we're talking about Phil. We know. Yeah, we're going to yeah. get into it. Shut up. <laughs> uh, but you, were, you have subscribed to Phil, and since we both were on the account... It would just be like 12 videos. It would flood the inbox. And I'm like, this mother... What? And I tried to watch one of the videos. I'm like, I, I don't get it. And then I looked up his name and I found a bunch of this... Of, of the videos. You're, you're, this is back way, way back. This is uh, DSP court leader and crap like that. Mm. And that's when I started watching. I'm like, oh, wow, is this dude a piece of crap? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and I remember you unsubscribed from him. Yep. For a time. And once you unsubscribe from him, I was just like, I have no interest in further seeking him out or his content. But for, for some reason, I got back into it. And once I got back into it, it was detractor stuff. No longer it was just actual all, feel. The beginning was just the detractor stuff for me. And I was like, okay, this dude is just not a very good individual. Mm-hmm. Uh, so this time we're talking about 10 good things about the Universal Survival arc. By Geekdom featuring... Geekdom 101. Be Geekdom 101 featuring somebody. Swag Age, I think. I don't know. I didn't. I don't know who it's featuring. Um, I'll say this. I do not like Geekdom. Really? This is one of those... And this isn't like a... I don't like his content. I don't like him as an individual. What did he do? Uh, because all the things that I see from him is... Oh, uh, it's just straight here? Are you... You're just not going to put homeboy in the... They'll probably say it in the beginning. Okay. But um, all the stuff that I see about him is he's very arrogant. He's a very arrogant individual. Um, it, it, way, way back. He's just like... He, he's one of those people that are just like... He, any bit of criticism, he's like, oh, virgin, basement. Oh, that type a lot of, of stuff. A lot of his old um, insults was like, yo, you got a small dick. It's like, what are you, what are you talking about? I'm just saying they do. It's like, what? Have you and seen then, it? <laughs> and then, um. And that, like, that would say more to you that you're seeking out dicks from people or, that criticize that you. Somebody's penis size automatically equates to how they are as an individual. Or how they are in terms of giving criticism to a person. And then on Twitter, he'll lambast a chapter just completely because he's he's a Dragon Ball YouTuber. Of course. He'll lambast a chapter like, this is stupid, this is stupid, this doesn't make any sense. And then on the video, he'll be like, I had a couple problems with it, but it didn't detract from it. Like, don't, don't be so two-faced like that. Say what you mean. I don't keep up with them because, like I said, I don't like them Mm -hmm. particularly. But this is just from what I've seen. Okay. You don't um, like the person you've seen him to be. I'm not saying that this is him. Really? It could just be the character of It could be the character. It could be the sample size that I've seen. Anything. Anything. Uh, as far as the universe survival arc, we've had we've had our thoughts about it. One of the better arcs in all of anime is that what we agreed on? I don't. One of the better it. tournament arcs. I mean, thumbs up. Eight out of ten was what you said. No, I said eight out of ten. You said nine point five. That was what was going on what in that particular. Because <laughs> from what I remember, I did indeed rate it higher than you. <laughs> But I believe mine was like a four, <laughs> and yours was like a two. <laughs> so the numbers are off a little bit there, but a little bit, you know, six to one. <laughs> the universe survival arc is one of the worst tournament arcs in history. It's one of the worst arcs in history, bar none. Because <laughs> it is just a clown car of whatever, whoever quarter of a design mother one fifth of a personality people when we were first starting this is uh, even before we visited one of our first videos ever 
was a um, because reasons on Dragon Ball Super as a whole. And we talked at length about the Universal Survival Arc. And at one point, we just played a game of we're going to uh, name a character. What what design do you believe them to have? And I don't think we got anything right. I think we got some colors right sometimes. <laughs> no, that's very difficult to do. I remember one of them was just like, okay, this is a humanoid. And it was just this little bug. Dude was like, oh, that was just way off. <laughs> That was fun. I yeah. need to go back and listen to that again. Yeah, I do too. Um, but so, yeah, this the, the tournament. Oh boy, it is. And not only that, it's it's like you don't you can't fly. Well, why not? Yeah, what does it hurt? And to, then unless other universes don't have the ability to fly, and you don't want to just say, "Hey, you can't fly," so there's some massive advantage for our universe, and then you got to question why can't they fly when they have these power levels and blah blah yak yak. And then you got the whole once Jiren and Goku are fighting, they're for all intents and purposes flying. So he, why even have the rule of like was Goku like riding the current of uh, Khalifa's Kamehameha? Because I don't see how that did he just because it's not just, he just that he slid jumped on it. Yeah, it's not even that he jumped. He moved within it. So, it wasn't so like now a we have to shot. figure out what exactly blasts are in terms and how do they interact each other if he can sort of escalate her on it. There's so much wrong with it. And they're going to go with, we heard one of them and one of them I think was 17. They're going to go with the um, Jiren versus Goku. Yep. You know, oh, no, one of them was um, all the great characters. characters. New characters yep. Yeah. Um, They're going to go Jiren Goku. Jiren Goku. They're going to go 17. Frieza. They're going to go Frieza. They're going to go uh, giving a lesser character something to do. Mm, that's a good one. Um, animation. Animation, absolutely. Uh, they're going to probably give it to at least one of the new forms. Either Ultra Instinct or Royal Blue or whatever. Mm. Uh, Topo's going to get one. Uh, that makes sense. We're missing two, but most likely uh, uh, female characters that do stuff. A Roshi getting a chance to start. No, that's going to go into the side character. Yeah. Able to do so. Comedy? We can put comedy in there. Right, and uh, Goku, 17, did... Goku not winning. Yep. That's the 10 we're going with. Let's see. I don't remember what they were, but I'm sure once we start hearing it, what was gonna... it? What was it where you had named like what it was gonna be? That and it was, was so far. That off. was the fairy tale of ten things. Oh, not to two re- ten reasons. Not to was a great protagonist. It, it was either like that. that or ten reasons to watch fairy tale. Uh, it was the ten reasons to watch fairy tale. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what it was. And I got and I got the first two, and then it was just like none other. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get into it. Universal Survival Arc was the largest and longest arc in Dragon Ball Super and today I want to do a two-part video here a two sides of a different coin video on here we're going to talk about the 10 things that we liked about the Universal Survival Arc. That's not the title of the video. Um, Good and like are the exact same thing. They are most certainly not. Are you saying that objective and subjective are concepts that... (laughs) Are different? Absolutely. Oh, let me just come back in the comments after six months and continue with the debate, I guess. <laughs> and just not, After I said I'm not, not replying for anything anymore. new and just continue down the same, I'll just do that. Just the dick swing it just like I won. I've already cucked you Dude, bastards. I was, I, my hand was hovering over just going, I, it was just going to be like cool beans. That was going to be my <laughs> entire comment. I was like, let me look to see if he if he just washed his hands of this dude. And you did. I went, all right. Uh, no snarky comment for me. Because I was I was firing him on that dude. I'm like, you, you don't do this. I'm not. We're not having this. Survival <laughs> Arc, myself and Laughing Stock Media have our choices. And, and then over on media. his channel, when you get done with this video, check out the 10 things we did not like about the Universal Survival Arc. The Tournament of Power in Dragon Ball Super. The discussion begins next.
I'll say this. I like the fact that they do like and dislike, and mm-hmm. I like the fact that it's on two different channels yep. because um, Geekdom is one of the larger Dragon Ball people, and Laughing Stock is like a mid level people. So he's sending some of his audience over there. And but, it doesn't hurt if you're just like kind of watching Geekdom stuff, and it's all this positive, positive. It's just like, oh, poopy butt water. Yeah. Next. What's going on, everyone? If you like the videos I'm putting out on this channel, what? It is 36 seconds. He said, what the video is about and now what you should be doing right now is liking and subscribing. I think we got enough of a sample size to say that he's putting out good quality and I will give this video a like. I watch, uh, at times, uh, I'll watch some ordinary gamers. They put out one to three videos a day. And essentially, it's just him talking about stuff and it's edited. It's very fun. Um, and then, like at the very end, I'll just go, like it if you like it, don't like it if you don't like it. At the very end. Mm-hmm. Why, why are, you know what, we put, we've, we've argued this so many times. Just, just wait. Like, why would you sit down at a theater, the opening credits show, and you start applauding? Like, that's ridiculous to me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> hey, y'all remember the thumbs down button? <laughs> you can see the number. That's fun. And remember to hit that like button. And remember to subscribe and hit that notification bell. That way you get all my content right to your device every time I upload. And I thank you for your continued support. Okay, so... Uh, it, it, it was 34 seconds, I believe, when it started. It's 36 seconds. He spent 12 seconds. A third of the video has already been dedicated to you liking and subscribing. So here's how it's going to work. We have a list of 10 things that we liked about this arc, and it's not in any particular order, just 10 things that we really liked. And like I said in the intro, the second half, which is the 10 things we did not like, is over on Laughing Stock Media's channel. So we're going to take turns... Do you think we could get four things that we liked about Universal Survival Arc? Uh, yes, 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 yes. I honestly do. I, I not right now. <laughs> like, I have to think about it. I don't have the time for it. <laughs> but if hey, I can I borrow ten dollars, yeah. Well, no, but yeah. <laughs> I mean, in the future, you can. You have the ability. I will give you ten dollars, just not at this present moment. Cause I'd have to. I have to either rewatch it. You ain't rewatching that. Sh- <laughs> I'd have to. Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Probably not. Alternating, giving you guys his five and my five of the ten things that we liked most about the Universal Survival Arc. So hello, Mike from Laughing Stock Media. How's it going? <laughs> hey guys, it's Mike here. What was with that little chuckle before? I don't know. Maybe that's his. Maybe laughing at the beginning is his gimmick. I don't think so. <laughs> maybe not. Phil. <laughs> oh. <laughs> From Laughing Stock Media and Cinema. How's it going? That's right. Mike has a second channel now about movies. Check it out. So, we're not talking movies here. We're talking Dragon Ball Super. What is your oh, first Kalen thing Kalen that you liked one. about the Universal Survival Arc? Okay, so the first thing that I liked yeah, about I'm the Universal say. Survival Arc is, in fact, uh, one of the first things that we saw during this arc, and that is the Zen Exhibition Match. Now, the Zen Exhibition Match... Pause. For- Does that count? I, it's part of the arc. But then you could also say that the recruitment is also... Yes, it is part of the arc. I thought that it would just be the tournament. Oh, no, that this arc is horrible. <laughs> the, the Zen exhibition is terrible. No, Because you just on. introduced these wolves are just like, oh, yeah, they're uh, casually boo level. <laughs> no, they <Okay>. weren't. <laughs> no, they were not. One of them was. Okay. If even, because... Dude, I... They had to get Boo out of there. He he was not gonna he he was not gonna work in that in tournament. It was a trio to danger. And then Gohan gets blinded and still Molly wops one of them. Like, and then you go ah oh, strategy that that's gonna no he just does it anyway. Nope. nope. Strategy beating the uh, trio to danger. 
Are, oh. we, are we really just going with... It's already dude, over, huh? It's already over. It's already over. <laughs> Wolfgang. <laughs> oh, wow. That's the whole group. Oh, they got their individual. Okay, okay there you go. Thank goodness. See that? That makes more sense. Yeah. Oh, thank goodness. Okay, that's a lot okay, of stuff. Okay, I was about to go. Thank you so much, Wikipedia. <laughs> thank you for being such a user-friendly... Goodness. Now you're mad at all the information. <laughs> He's a giant form? I didn't remember that. I mean, how much do you remember from the Universal Survival Arc, period? Enough. Enough. They usually have a power section. Hey, what was the name of the dude that Gohan beat and looked at his f- and watched for his family? I don't even know what he looks like. <laughs> do you know what universe he came from? Three. Universe three. Okay, let's see. Uh, Universe 3. Uh, sorry new viewers, this is what we do, so shut up. Oh my god, there's so many! Uh, maybe look up Gohan Locket guy. (laughs) Gohan Locket, okay. Gohan Locket. Lock screen. Uh... Survival arc. Yeah, uh, I got fan art before the actual thing. And then it just puts me right back to the page I was originally on. So, that's a thing. Dude, it's, it's so much information here. Uh, what are yeah. you still looking at? Um, it looks like their their powers are um, definitely above super perfect cell, but around a uh, boo love boo saga Goku and Vegeta. Ugh, they're worthless. Then I mean, they're worth more than a Krillin. I mean, are they? Where is Krillin? He's a cop now. He's always been a cop. Uh, Dragon Ball Super. Gohan Locket? Oh, y'all just not even doing it, huh? Oh, man. Mm-hmm. We're not going to find this in a reasonable amount of time. I mean, I'm close. Nope, never mind. I wasn't even at the arc yet. <laughs> I wasn't even at the tournament. I'm still in the uh, recruitment. I looked up Locket and it's just people selling lockets. <laughs> yeah, it, I'm not even trying. It will forever be a mystery. For me, it's one of the highlights of the arc because it allowed us to not only see a new universe in Universe 9 for the first time. If this was the same universe, would you even question it? What, what, what does it matter seeing just a whole new universe of just nothing fighters? It's just some dudes rocking up. It means nothing that we're seeing a whole new universe. It's three wolves. You go, okay. We have wolf people in our universe. Yes. This means literally nothing. Even New Saiyans. It's nothing. Because back then, I'm just like, it would have been so good if um, uh, Chompa turned to, um, what's a little short dude's name? The Saiyan. No, we oh, can't Ka- do that. Kaba. Kaba. Turn to Kaba. When yeah, you, you just said short dude's name, and I went, oh no, there's so many. <laughs> yeah, turn turn to Kaba when uh, Goku went Super Saiyan, and, go, and he goes, can y'all do that? And instead of Kaba being like, I don't even know what the, that is, he just goes, oh, that's a super old technique. We've evolved so far beyond that. Mm-hmm. That would have been something. You guys still use Super Saiyan? And then you have to sit there and go, oh, what does he have? How is it better? How is it different? Will Goku and Vegeta learn it later? But no, it's just the exact same Super Saiyan. Bam. Whole new universe. 
basically the same. What does it mean? These guys, uh, we get to see a whole new universe. What does it mean? Oh, they're just there. Oh, look at their, look at their Whis. Cool. Okay. Look, look at, at their, their Supreme fr- Kai. Look at their Frieza. I, I don't know what it's doing for us. They also allowed our fighters from Universe 7, such as Gohan, Majin Buu, and Goku to face off against their strongest warriors and kind of give us like a sampling of what would be to come in the arc itself in the Tournament of Power as it would be. Trash! Uh, it, it wouldn't be a sampling because these are one-on-one fights as opposed to a huge battle royale. It also wouldn't be a sampling because a lot of these powers and the moves used here were not used in the Tournament of Power any way, shape, or form the way they were used here. So I don't know what it was supposed to... I guess it was supposed to be like a preamble to the hype. But if you go, oh, these dudes are getting beasted on by a Goku who's not even going Super Saiyan 2. And a boo that Hercule was just like, hey, yo, stop that. And he went, you right. And a blind Gohan... Once these dudes come back in the tournament, you go, okay, so any one of our, uh, get them Android 17, get them all out of here and they're done. And that's so many of the universes are just a bunch of bums or you got, it up. you got your Jiren and Topo levels of just, well, why are they so strong? <laughs> that's something I really liked about this arc. Yeah, we had a lot of fun fights there and a good setup. Uh, we introduced... It was not a lot of fun fight. No, it, really it was wasn't. artificially elongated fights because Boo just flipped on his on switch and just went, okay, yeah, let, let me just yeah, weird. Uh, Gohan was literally handicapped and still won. Or no, I think he lost. I don't remember. I think Gohan lost. That would make sense. And I think that's why he wanted to do more stuff with the blinded stuff. And in Goku, not even the mo- not I- I even older of trying. trying. So now we just got these three dudes that come up and you just go, I don't know what their abilities are. I don't know. Uh, this is this is a Gohan who hasn't been training, so I don't know how strong he is. So I guess I've got to just see that. This is a Boo that's not trying, and this is a Goku who has five other forms that he could go to to instantly incapacitate this wolf. Wow, this is so much fun. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I'm not ent- entertained by watching strong people beat up scrubs. No. That that does nothing. I do not want to see jobbers in wrestling. I didn't care Rusev or Ryback was in thirteen yeah. and zero, and his complete time frame of matches was nine minutes. I don't want to see that. Even if it's just hey, here comes this dude from New Japan challenging Ryback. I'm like I don't know who this dude is. This means nothing to me. Just seeing somebody from someplace else it means nothing. Yeah, it'd be like. If you didn't know who Seth Rollins was, and Seth Rollins appeared in, in AEW, and it's just like, I don't know who that is, and I don't give a shit. Why, why are y'all so much hyping this up? When, to me, this is Nathan. And the entire audience, to the entire audience, it would be Nathan. It's not like Seth Rollins, where a lot of people know him, you just don't. Or some Japan dude like Okada, where a lot of people know him, but you just don't. Nobody knows who these wolf men are. Nobody. And, and another example, it'd be like if we went to Long Town and one piece of this, someone came up like, ah, it's me from the South Blue. Are we supposed to be like, we finally see somebody from the South Blue? Wouldn't give it. It means sh- nothing. Opo there, the trio of dangers. It was the teaser for Jiren. Um, good stuff. Yeah. My first Good's one I want to talk about is the animation. Now, <laughs> cha-ching, cha-ching. <laughs> it's so, it's it, so uh, The animation was pretty. Moving on. I don't. It was pretty. Sometimes. It was so fluid. Yeah. At points. Mm-hmm. Um, so. One of the things is we got to see some people and we got some cool fights. And the other thing is cool animation. 
We've not done, done any sort of motivation, characters, characters, writing of any kind, really, other than, uh, yeah, there's a bunch of other universes, and here's three people from that universe. Obviously, Super's been very inconsistent, but when it comes to this arc, the Terminal oh, of Power so Universe crazy. Survival arc, it definitely improved. We saw a lot of big names coming back to Dragon Ball Super and giving us some of the best action we've seen in quite some time. And I think that for the most part... What, what was that action? Did you not see, see when Goku punched the Jiren into the face? Didn't you see that? Wasn't that pretty? No, you want to go get, back? Go back and watch no, no, it again. No, 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 no. I, I get, think you need to see it again. I get, I get the prettiness. Okay. Some of the best action we've seen in a long time. What action are they talking about? Uh, the Goku versus Jiren when he turned uh, Super Saiyan, not Super Saiyan, uh, Omen. That was good. That was very pretty. He, no, no, don't you not remember pretty, when he was walking up? Action. Don't you remember when he was walking up and and Topo had his finger guns and he went pew 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 pew, pew and then he just was dodging off fluidly and actiony. Okay, but uh, uh, some of the best action we've seen. Mm -hmm. That's like hype beast stuff where you know you're not even trying but you're dodging. The action is not anything. Action is an animation. Uh, it. It, it, it can helped. lead to animation, but it some of the best a action, some of the best action of like Air Master, Air Master doesn't have very good animation, but just seeing Maki grab Lucha Master's leg and do this big spinning power driver, that's awesome stuff. Doesn't have the best animation, but that's good action. Doesn't really matter. Uh, finger guns, pew pew. Look, the episode he kicking them. Look at Royal Blue Vegeta or whatever that form is I called. I think that for the most part, the episodes that mattered like 109, 110, 130, and 131 looked phenomenal. In fact, so you would say that there are episodes that don't matter. Correct. Um, and based upon that, you mentioned six or five or six episodes um, that look phenomenal. Um, so the rest of them are not looking phenomenal, and that's a greater number of ones that don't look phenomenal than the ones that do. Um, I would assume that, but I think at, at worst for the most part, he's probably thinking it's pretty good. Serviceable. You, you're not cashing out for TN. <laughs> Episode 130 may have had the best animation cut we have ever seen in all of Dragon Ball. So you've got to put it over as Whoa. being an important aspect. What is your next one? Okay, so my next one is going to be the overall concept of that are introduced actually in this arc so first off the concept of the tournament of power in which uh all these different universes from around this multiverse are gathering together with 10 of their fighters to fight for their very survival hey 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 no 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 no. Hey, doesn't that dreadlock dude look like one of the villains of the current arc? Like, if you were to just supplant him, like, behind the black dude. The dude with the... Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Um, He looks like... He kind of looks like the Majin Buu one. Yeah, if he was um, just buff. Gas Super Manga? Am I gonna get some bad stuff here? <laughs> Tell you what, I should not have not turned safe search off. Yeah, it, it's Ooh, just not looks, accentuated. He's with just Kibu with dreadlocks. This is disgusting. They should <laughs> they should be taken a task for these designs. This is not They're okay. Taking, taking a task by who? <laughs> by who? It's I don't know. The editors. The somebody editors higher like, up. No, that's somebody higher enough. up that's just like, you. this is okay. Is it, boo. Is it going to affect the bottom line? I mean, no. If you're looking for no. hype new characters and you, you, you what, can't, what, who you what is, in this? What is the perception of that character? Positive. So what are we doing? What are we even arguing about? No, because he just recently got big strong. Yes, sir. So the dragon wish. 
So they wish for Gas, who was mm-hmm. his name, uh, to be stronger, the strongest in the universe. After um, they wish for, um... don't even ask. Oh man, I legit forgot um, his name. I the, just read the it. lone survivor, Granola. Granola. Right after Granola, so it's just like, oh, he's you know, you here. That could be one percent stronger. It, it doesn't, doesn't matter. It's he's unquantifiable. The he's the Whatever. But he grows a, a, at least a foot. But Granola just his hair grows. What? How did? What? Why did the hair grow? If a, two pages because, later he was just gonna cut it, and why did he guy, grow up? The gas was still growing, but you know. But he was he was shown back when he Bardock fought him. Yeah, yeah. Maybe their lifespans are just so uh, vast. You know, he's just not done growing, whereas Granola is. That's a, is that not a serviceable explanation and okay, I win? What is, what? is that not a serviceable explanation and I win? It's not because what about becoming the strongest in the universe means that your <sighs> body must grow. Um, to hold on to that power. Boo was kid boo. Mm-hmm. He was weaker. He was weaker than um, uh, uh, Buhan. But he was weaker. But he wasn't that much weaker. But he was weaker. But he wasn't that much weaker. But was he weaker? But he wasn't that much weaker. But was His he tiny weaker? body Sir. could contain Sir. all Sir. the power. Sir. His tiny Sir. body could Sir. contain the power. Sir. What about Broly? His body literally can't contain the power. And he's yeah, that's why it buffs up when he gets into those fours. Because the power No, is that's not on. it at all. Uh, Sir, does he get buffer? As yes, he, he does. Okay, then. So, sir, I've answered all your <laughs> questions, so I don't see what your problem still is. <laughs> Everything you've said, I've had an answer to, so what's the answer? <laughs> A non barely answer. It don't know. It don't I'm make sorry. no sense. Did I fill in C and the answer was C? Oh, but you colored it in lightly. It was enough for the computer to read it. This is garbage. <laughs> this is not how this works at all. How does it work then? And these are not designed. These are not designed. I agree with that part. In short, Devil Man and. I literally did not remember he was part of the t- Pride Troopers. I, If you ask me. How did he get eliminated? I if you, couldn't even begin to tell you. If you ask me how many syllables are in his name within one, I couldn't <laughs> give you. If you ask me what color he is, I, I uh, think he was I purple. Know. I got to know now. Um, Pride Ooh. Troopers. I want to say purple. Purple seems like it would be. But then that might clash with Jaren. It looks like he's purple. Hey! Um, okay, so let's I remember see. my Dragon Ball arcs. What's his name? Because now... Th- this... Yeah, Best Buy. Thank you so much, Best Buy. Anything about Homeboy. Anything about this frog. K apostrophe N-S-I. Kensai? Kunshi. Kunshi is, Kunshi is what it looks like. Um, hang on. I just want to see who voiced him real quick. Who got this paycheck? <laughs> Uncredited. Oh, there it is. Uh, Chris Long, I don't know who you are. You seem like a nice guy, Chris. Kettle. Let's go to Kettle. You are not this person that we were thinking about. All right. Zori. Zori, that seems like a woman's name. No. It's more lavender than purple, but I'm I'll sorry, give it to you. Purple I'll, give it to you. Okay. I'll give it to no, you. I'll give it to you. No, you didn't give me nothing. I took it. I just want to see how he was eliminated. Um, Offered. Mm, is this manga or anime? Uh, does it matter? It kind of matters because you Gohan are... is facing off against the Fuse Khalifa in the manga. Yeah. It don't make no sense. Oh, uh, Zori follow, uh, fired the United Justice stream with his teammates. Don't you remember that at the Saiyans? No. Um, oh, maybe I do. When uh, Goku and Vegeta had to do the uh, combined attack. So they were he was knocked out uh, by Kale along with Kettle and Kasirah? Kasirah. Uh, Ka- yep, they just knocked him out because they're unimportant. 
They are the unimportant ones. <laughs> Any anime, while not at his full power, his justice spin is strong enough to damage base Goku. What? Whatever. <laughs> you know, because if they are to lose, if their team is eliminated, they would they would be erased. From no, so no, that's not, that that's made up. <laughs> That freaking that Volcano that looks man. like the animal dude from My Hero. Oh, Coda. That's not. You don't exist. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we found the woman. Dude, he literally doesn't exist. He's not here. Oh, was he uh, manga Is this only? Manga only. Yeah, because I see like well, a snake. It says, it says allies, so let's see any allies. Nope, not you. That's I think that's your master. Kai, nope. And that is the Weiss. Yep, that's the Weiss. You don't exist. I'm sorry. <laughs> so technically it was made up. Holy crap. That's three. That's six. That's nine. Three, six, oh, that's nine, ten. ten. That's ten. Um, Somebody's missing. Ball, spiky guy. Um, oh, purple man. Purple man's gone. The, the, this green guy. Yep. Green, green guy guy's gone. Hair. Green guy's gone for. Oh no! There's lizard man yep. in the back. Yep. So so uh, green guy is gone. Why do you have two separate individuals? You don't you know remember. why? Because they don't matter. Because they don't matter. Tupper. Tupper's gone. Tupper where? I'm shooting baskets Holy and creating. Crap. The, I'm shooting baskets and, and, Holy crap. and hitting the buckets. You see? Because it was a slam dunk. <laughs> no, what are we doing? Says he's in the manga. Who? Uh, a green man. Tupper. Oh, uh, three, six. It's ten. No, it's definitely ten. And he's not there. Okay, who's bug-eyed? Do we have a bug-eyed man behind uh, Eye Patch Man? We do. There's. there's oh, okay. I don't. I don't know what they're one, talking about. Yeah, there's the two bald, uh, spiky-eared guys. I'm. I mean, is it just a bad drawing of his hair? I I can't imagine. Because he has... Where's where's our boy Tupper? Look. No. No, 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 that's just not him. That's just not him. That's just not him. Good job, Manga. I think that's a really cool kind of cosmic, you know, high fantasy science fiction sort of concept that I've always liked. You said concept like five times. Okay, I don't care how good a concept is. Irrelevant. Is it executed well? I love the concept of King's Game. It's a sh an anime. Complete. Oh, boy. I it was is. so mad. Dude, imagine me. At but least you, you, had, you had the buffer of me going, yo, this is terrible. I had to go in raw just like, yo, this sounds so hype. And then I'm like, what? Oh, no. But you tapped out after like four episodes. I most certainly did I because I'm not a fool. Oh, but I'm a coward every time I drop. Yes. Down. Wow. There's no reason for me to finish King's game. There was no reason for me to finish Naruto or Bleach. Oh, did we time. not get content out of Naruto no, or Bleach, no. Bleach at, content? I, that's man. why I said at that time. Okay. You ain't listening. No, no, you at the so time. Yeah, there absolutely was because weekly we were having conversations about it. And you weren't in it. You were just a like, lot I don't of those, know what's going a on. A lot of those times I'm more than even there. I've listened back to some of your Bleach <laughs> rants. I wasn't there. So. <laughs> so. Mm. Mm. I'm just saying. You started Bleach way before me. Yep. And I finished Bleach way before you. Hey, you started you're a King's coward. Game way before me, and I finished King's Game. I don't way need to watch King's Game. What does it do to benefit me hey, to watch King's maybe, Game? Maybe there's some King's there Game. There isn't. I looked. Hey, that intro is hype, though. That intro this is one is of the, the best. End. This is the end. Oh, that intro 
It's it's so unfortunate. <laughs> Dude, complete it'd be like if Death Parade's anime was trash <laughs> <laughs> after that intro. <laughs> Like this is this is high on now. Is, don't give give a mediocre intro if you're gonna do that. Give like the latest so my hero intro to it. Yes, that's Just, what you do. It's a middle of the pack. If you gonna rock out with a stinker of an anime, give a stinker of an opening. Don't, Not this fire. Don't lure us into a false sense of security with this with these flames. Books and now like Dragon Ball Super, Paul. but then. Could you name, outside of Vados, could you name any of the uh, of the voice liked in comic uh, any of the other Weeses? You know what's sad? You just looked one up, and I saw you click the name, and I don't remember what it was. They are all named after an alcohol. Uh-huh. I'm sure they are. Uh, is Vados probably vodka? Uh, is there um, a Merlot? I'm sure there is some sort of twist on the name Merlot. Is there a... You know what I'm uh, looking up? It's probably not a rum. That's too easy. Do you think that, that that's... Rumu. I don't know what it... I, I'll give you a free one. <laughs> Margarita. They didn't even cry! <laughs> that's like if Cabo was just named Cabbage. I guess. What? That's not an alcohol, or is it? What? What is it? Corn. Corn? Uh, probably some type of grain bush. It's got to be in the trivia. Um, like all gods of destruction and angels, corn's name is a pun on a type of alcohol. Corn's name is a pun on an alcoholic drink. Corn brand. Corn brand alcohol drink. Yes. So, um, yes. Okay. One of them's name is Sour. Yeah, that's why I was just that's like. That's a flavor. Yeah, that's why I was like, what? what is this? That's not even, that's not whiskey. I mean, there is a whiskey. I mean, there is a uh, something sour. I can't remember what it was. But that's just a flavor. There's sour. Uh, sour's name is a pun on the alcoholic drink. Sour, in parentheses, drink mixer. Um, there is not a rum. See, I knew there that was is. Easy. <laughs> oh no, you look so bad. Now I'm gonna spell this for you. Okay. And it's it's capital C U K. Okay. A. Cuck. <laughs> It's cockatail. It's in cockatail. Uh, okay. First off, holy crap, he looks terrible. First off, a cocktail is not a necessarily alcoholic drink because there's a lot of. I think it's just a mixed thing. Like you have a roofy cocktail. <laughs> Uh, you have but, a cocktail of medication. Yeah, I don't think it's an uh, uh, alcoholic thing per se. Second off, you just changed cock to cock and then just went, all right, we got it. Mm -hmm. Sure. That's fine. This is terrible. And they, they're all just named... Do... So now, since they're all pun names, we have to ask, do they have to change their name to an alcoholic drink or do they seek out people with alcoholic drink names? Because Topo is in a candidate to become a god of destruction. And he's not. He's, he's... I know shoehorn is something. Top brand drink. I, they're using sour mixers. You think they give us? They don't give us. They don't give us. What is Vados? Just real quick. No, Wiki, stop! Vados is probably vodka. Uh, no. Oh, really? It's a uh, cow Vados. Oh, okay. It's At in, least... um, it's a French drink. Okay. Made yes. from apples or sometimes pears. That uh, sounds like wine. Uh, or some type of uh, cider. That could, that could be cool. 
This is terrible. This is the end. This is the end. It's so hype. Dragon Ball Super, but then there's also other things such as the concept of Ultra Instinct. It's just—it's no. just concepts. It's just... This this isn't a point. This is multiple points within it. Yep. The concept of the universal survival. I like the characters. I liked Gohan. I liked Seventeen. I liked Eighteen. What's your next one? This <laughs> this isn't. <laughs> Which it's. Self, I feel like is a very interesting concept because interesting does not equate to good. Yes, it does. Truly, it does not. If I blended up a pizza, marshmallows, and and like vodka and like three different things, milk, chocolate sauce, and and you drink it, you go. That's an interesting taste. And it's and then delicious. You would, and you would and puke that automatically means later. that it's delicious. Mm -mm. <laughs> because of how cool it is that it's something that really could be beyond strength, you know. Doc oh, you thought. <laughs> you thought. <laughs> oh, you thought. Oh, you thought. Uh, plus, this would mean more if it wasn't attached to one of the strongest beings in the universe. Yes. Um, we don't know what exactly it does in terms of strength for you because if somebody like Krillin gets it, would that mean that he's automatically on Jiren level? Or was it just, oh, Jiren is 50, 50 times stronger than the strongest blue Kaioken Goku. So he just gets this form and then bam. But then in the manga, I think it's oh, Moro goes to punch him and he just flexes his chest and he breaks his arm. Yeah. On his on his rippling pectoral muscles. The f is that? You what does that I mean. have to do with understanding your body and and how it moves and all this stuff that Ultra Instinct was? What is it? Ah, my he's, in hand. He's doing that uh, male titty dance. <laughs> and the dude just gets Thanos snapped. <laughs> what, what is this? Hacking without even so much as thinking, you know, that's just it really introduced a lot of cool concepts in this arc, right? The payoff track is a cool yeah. idea, too. I think my next one is kind of it goes along with the one you just said. I liked the new characters for the most part. I love the pride troopers and the concept Could you go back? behind them. No, don't do this. Could you go? Me. That is just Jero. Oh, that's yeah, you're right, Jero. It's uh, also an orange topo, really. That is also just topo. All right, then. All right, then. By troopers and the concept behind them. And I concept. like, even though some folks don't like them, I was a fan of Ribrianne's group. Mm -hmm. I know they were kind of cheesy, but a lot of real good, you know, magical girl Dude. parodies. Don't do Dude. it. Don't do it. We're not here for this. This is so lazy. Magical girl parodies. This is, stuff. Go girl, they girl, look good. like you trash. Know, what is that dude in the middle? I don't see the problem. Oh my goodness. What are you talking about, sir? Don't you like indescript fat girl on the left? Muscle person in the middle. And yeah, just uh, 80s, 90s, edge lord smile <laughs> on the right. <laughs> Bobby and Terry Funk don't aren't important in the grand scheme of anything, but they got a good design. The, the sunglasses, the hat. He's really big and he's got like a suit on. And... But yeah. you just got this. What about gladiator person these are in the middle? Quarter of a design people. You look at these people and go, okay, they're clearly unimportant. Real good. They don't matter, so why should we even think about that? But I what is that blue that? thing doing? Like, what are Holy we? Holy crap! What are we doing here? I was about to say I can't even say that a design automatically equals somebody's going to be important because Jiren is is the the beginnings of a design. All right, Toriyama, we need the next uh, antagonist. All right. Uh... All right, I'm, I'm going to be working for about six hours. Here's what I got after two hours. All right, we'll take it. Done. No, I still have so much. No, you don't. Here's your hundred million, sir. 
All You've right. done and, it again. And yep, yep, this is Jiren. He's going to be a big justice man. He's going to be all bombastic. Uh, no, no, no. He's actually very stoic. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Right, that would have been nice to know. Well, you only gave me two hours. I, I, I needed to see. I want a time. Good, you know, magical girl parody stuff in there. I enjoyed a lot of the. I, I, the furry one looks horrible. The fish one, my goodness. Clown's fine. Uh, Egyptian lady, she's fine. Okay. Robot, the nothing. Elephant, whatever. In. Pat stares at or oh, down at the bottom right. <laughs> Mouse. Design I like that I like Beerus. He's he's very like emaciated. Yeah. I, it's some about his just like on his ears. He's got the and all of his bang bangles and stuff like that. I'm like I like his design, but that furry thing, that's nothing gave us not just with the imagine if that mug video. rocked up and was like i'm gonna destroy the earth look at that i mean at least it's a different design ish i mean the fox is just a fox it's like a uh, ain't renna from the third season of digimon but at least the the at least what at least the one in the upper right is different I didn't say good. <laughs> I said different. Is it interesting? Absolutely. All right. And interesting is good. We established this. I don't think we did. This is terrible. Majold is just a robot. Just a robot. I. But also, I loved the robots from Universe <laughs> 4. Was it Universe 4 or Universe 3? It was, it was Universe. Three. You don't fit no. Because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. These mugs are never going to be seen again. We can't go over to the... Of them. We can't go over to Robot Universe for any kind of threat. Because if there is you, a threat, you have to be like, well, why weren't they in the Tournament of Power? Well, okay, you say that, but you clearly didn't see uh, Gogeta and Broly breaking through dimensions. So, you know, it's, it's fairly possible that they mistakenly are fighting someone strong and just fall into another universe, have to find their way home. Maybe gather that universe's Dragon Balls. Mmm. Mmm. Okay, but that's... Maybe the... beat that universe's in a... Mmm. Mmm. Intrigue, mystery. Mm. And it's anti interesting. Three and three. three. Yeah, I loved like. Ooh, the what the fuck is this? What, what? what is this goo man? Why are we clapping? Again. Put spiky ears on them and turn them green. That's Piccolo. Some. I love the, the the way that they look, the way they fuse together. Um, I loved some of the unique and strange designs of some of the other universes as well. Uh, I just liked Toriyama. They're just designed. They're just designed. They're meaningless. They're nothing. I'm really having some fun creating some new characters. And even though his designs here were... Not quite as good as his old Dragon Quest stuff and maybe the old Dragon Ball stuff. There was a lot of great new characters that I really enjoyed seeing here. Dr. Rota, of course. Be Bro, we're, we're rocking with this. We're praising this. They couldn't even draw 10 mother... <laughs> <laughs> they got they close. We got eight. All right, they, chill out. They we got eight. Even give we got eight. eight. The... Just, just draw a blob. Hang on. Let me look up Mouse God of Destruction and look at the rest of the the, the, the lineup that didn't make the cut for this panel. Quatella, that's his name. Cool, cool. I'll uh, I'll ask you that at the end. Uh, you you've already said it's gonna be on the quiz. I will not remember it. Any of oh, his universe four. Okay. Um. Oh, oh, how about this? How about this? You name the character and I point to them. Very good. 
Nope, I will not do that. Are we, are we, do we really not have a picture of this mother on the Wikipedia page? Oh, this must have been one of the ones that missed the panel. Ganos. I, I, I saw it, so I'm not even gonna. I don't know why he's on, not on the wiki. Wait, does he have bird legs? <laughs> what are we doing here? Greatness. Oh my god. Soul Society. Every at everyone, what score would you, objectively as possible, give to the Bleak anime and Mago records, uh, respectively? It's not. It's not objective. Kawaii. Kawaii. Uh, I'm gonna go one of the women, and I'm gonna go, not the one in the middle, but the one on the left. Mother, you got it. Woo! Oh, Toriyama, I'm with you, baby, baby. Majora. Majora, Majora. I'm going to go Gladiator. Uh, wolf with Dang, earrings. Dang, I thought it was one going to be one of the wolves. Wolf with earrings. Dang it. Sorry. Toriyama, I'm sorry. I got to give you your money back. Uh, Nink. Nink. Oh, I gotta assume that's... Oh, no, that could be the, one of the women. It's either women or little dude. I'm gonna go... I'm gonna go fat woman. Gladiator. Uh, Shosa? Shosa? Oh, that's definitely one of the women. I'm, I'm gonna go the uh, other... The one in the middle. Wolf. The, the f- other wolf. The f- you are not doing great. Um, Gami Salas. Ball dude? Invisible. <laughs> See, that's why they're not pictured. Because they're invisible, you see. But there's not even space for them to be in the shot if they were visible. Uh, between Middle Chick and Earrings Wolf, you could pop him in there. Like, hey, it's me. Hey, we're done. And one that I wish we saw a lot more. I wish we heard a lot more about a description of his power, too. But that's just neither here nor there. But for mine, uh, getting into another character who is an older character who came back into the foray in this arc is Android 17. Someone who I don't think either of us... It is purely just the hand of the writer going, I need somebody big, big strong. I need somebody strong and that y'all know. Um, Android 17 is still alive. Oh, but how do I make him big strong? Oh, I just make him big strong. I mean, what's the, what's the problem? What, what? There's no consequences to me to just do this. So I'll just do it. He was fighting po- poachers on his island and he just got way stronger. Okay, but I'll make him strong now, and I'll think of the reason later <laughs> and throw it in the background during the tournament of power. All right, that's what I'll do. Oh, nobody's questioning this. Okay, I guess that's just more pages for punching. I cool. guess we're rocking the poacher excuse. The the normal human poachers got him up to Goku Blue level. Okay, and people are just happy to see him just being super strong. Okay. Someone who I don't think either of us or really anyone in the fandom realized just how powerful Android 17 had become. And how could we realize? He ain't There's done no nothing. There's no way that we could have realized it. He's never been mentioned. And post- there's no reason for him to be There's this strong. No, legitimately, literally zero reasons for him to be that strong. It's one of the most illogical things in Dragon Ball for him to just be that strong and Android 18 to not be that strong. 
You can't tell me he's just fighting normal human poachers and and just getting that strong. Are you telling me that they're muffed rocking up that's Goku blue level, but they never sense them? What are you saying for him to get that strong? Is it just Android potential? Couldn't be, because Android 18 ain't that strong. Ah, but they did show, because alien poachers tried to come, so he's been fighting aliens. So again, Goku is just standing, because they, they were just chilling out, and they were like, oh, Freeze is coming. They, they sense Frieza, but they're not sensing people who are... I'm not even going to say Goku Blue Level because a, a, a post-sale arc Android 17 isn't beating them. Incremental power growth. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. So um, he, he's, he's slightly above Android 17 and Android 17 beats him and gets stronger. And then somebody else comes that's slightly above that Android 17. And now they're like Goku Goku Level from the... Um, Boo saga. And because they're fighting Boo, they can't sense it. So that's over there. I I'm I'm just I I'm just real I'm just realizing like, hey, it's a lot of things aren't making sense. Cause I'm like, where exactly was he in the Boo arc? Was he? Oh just yeah, chilling? don't you remember he was just chilling? Cause he, when he came back. He put up his hands to give the energy. And for some reason, that didn't give them a large surplus of unlimited energy. They needed the other people on the planet. Instead of just 17, who never gets tired, never loses energy. Just putting his hand up. So he sees, let's go with billions of blasts coming from the sky. Shooting everybody around him. Everybody in the world. And he just goes... And just goes back to park rangering. He doesn't investigate. Or he, he doesn't try to seek dies. anybody out. Or he gets hit and dies. Mm. Tien was able to dodge him. Mm. Tien has been martial arts his whole life. The androids can't sense energy. It got him from behind. Placal, no. And then he falls forward and then other blasts hit him. And he is the dead. I don't believe that was the sequence of events that happened. Uh, but is it plausible? No. That Android 17, who does not is not able to sense energy, got hit by a wayward blast and then got hit by more blasts? No, it's not. It's not. Because, um... Oh, yeah, Boo, Boo walked around Boo and, walked and around counted. And he can't sense Android energy. Because Android, uh, he can't yeah. sense them. Yeah, yeah. No, humans can't. Boo is a mythical creature. Show me anywhere it says humans can't. Humans exclusively can't sense him. Because Piccolo couldn't sense them either. Was Boo sensing them or was he seeing them with his incredible eyesight? Show me anything that says Boo has incredible eyesight. Because <laughs> my incredible eyes. Show me anything that says he got special eyes. Okay, let's see. You're not going to find anything. Uh, t- uh, Boo cures Tommy's blindness. Uh, t- 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 wow, it's just a lot of, a lot of uh, uh, blind kid stuff. Because Boo can just do that. Healing. Oh, we can't have him in a tournament, though. Because he can heal. Get him out of here. <laughs> Quick. <laughs> Alright, I'm looking up. Look out. Destroy. Dude, they're just going through the history of the lookout. I'm not doing this. I'll do it off stream. We're off recording. How big of a, like, of a, you know, tool that he's the MVP. Yeah, definitely. He is the MVP of this arc. And I feel like there's very little question about that. You know, the guy did end up winning in the end. So, Android 17, you know, just how he's developed, how he's been. I have a wife and a kid now. No, you can't meet them. No, that's a whole nother design. And Toriyama hand hurts. But he has so much fun with all these character we designs. We ain't got two more designs 
We're going to show him on the boat at the end as he wanted. But we ain't going to see them kids. We ain't going to see that lady. No, sir. No time for that. No. Hey, Android 17, you're on the deck of the boat. What are you doing out here instead of with your family? Here I come, honey. I'm coming over to you, cut. <laughs> Don't even hear her calling. <laughs> it's another voice you got to hire. It's just him going, I should go on below the deck to see my wife. And then he just walks away because my wife is here on the boat with me and the children. They're here as well. Uh-oh, I can I can sense the kids getting a little rambunctious. Better go help the wife. The What development? He got stronger. He is, developed is that his... all that matters? Yes, it is. Okay. See, I'm glad you're learning <laughs> that I, at some points, the some questions do not need to be answered because the answers are provided already for us. Of course, that's all that matters. Of course. Animation? Oh, that just meant fights. It gave us some of our best fights. He developed? Oh, that just means he got stronger. Oh, concepts? Oh, thank you, or, uh, to the concept of other universes for more strong people to fight. An Ultra Instinct, which isn't about power, but made Goku more powerful. Thank you. Thank you. So, um... Also, strong characters. Beerus, Beerus used 70% of his power to be uh, Super Saiyan God Goku. Can I just say, I've always hated that book. It's terrible. It's really bad. But he used 70% of his power. If Android 17 just happened to be in the area, he could have handled that Beerus. Um, sure could. Why wasn't he invited? Because Android 18, for some reason, gives zero shits about her brother. Until they meet up. Ah, we've, we've been, we've met up again. How's things going? I have a wife and a family now. So I do too. I'm your husband. Shut up, wife. <laughs> Get it? Because Krillin's yes, the woman. Ah, see... That's the funny. This this isn't storytelling. Uh, you had all story the time in told, the world, sir. Shut up! You had all the time in the world. <laughs> As they're recruiting people to tell the story of how did Android Seventeen get to where he is, and he's one of the strongest people in the Tournament of Power. But we're spending two episodes on Krillin. When he eliminates two people? Hey, we could explore how these people got stronger. Or we could just show that they got stronger because they're up against Goku Blue. That's not storytelling. That's not how you tell a story. Don't you look up the definition of storytelling. Don't you do it. (laughs) Storytelling. A narrative story or tale <laughs> is any account of a series of related events or experiences, <laughs> whether non-fictional or fictional. What part of this is not storytelling, <laughs> sir? I believe they're related. Uh, narration. Now, the process of telling a story. This is terrible. I can't believe you're on geekdom and laughing stock media side. I never said that. I'm just saying that you were wrong in your assertion that this is not storytelling. This is not storytelling. <laughs> See, that's what This is wrong. not. This is wrong. objectively, categorically not storytelling. You <laughs> don't just do this. He literally did just do it. This is terrible. And, and guess what? Motherfucker clapping. For the development, for the big strong. He just comes up and like, I'm Goku Blue level. And okay. We accept this. And we accept this. And people people excused him going blue against Krillin. People excused This is it. terrible. We did a video this is against not... the dude that did that excused. You think that was a horrible video. You think people aren't clapping? You think of they course people are clapping about this? You think this isn't Dragon dude, Ball storytelling? And Tien just came up and was like, I'm stronger than you, Goku, and he just started handling Goku, people would be clapping. They don't care. 
So why do you care? Because I expect better. Based on what? Based upon the Toriyama. Fans, Toriyama. Based upon Toriyama being a human with all the ability to look up proper storytelling that I and anybody else does. He's told the story. Everybody's modeled themselves after him, so he's the greatest, right? That's how it goes. Why didn't they get a Raleigh for the tournament? Hmm? Hmm? They couldn't fathom her power. And that's a joke. We don't have... Uh, no. no, you can't do this. Mm, Raleigh's not there. They've met a Raleigh. She's they interacted there. with the Raleigh. She's not there. They saw her power. She's not there. We didn't need the gods I, getting I just there. want people to care. I just want... The audience to care. They do care. Toriyama. Did you not see them 400 deep watching the end of the Universal Survival arc? Of course they care. I no, mean, they I don't mean, care in the right way. <laughs> you mean there's a wrong way to care yes. about a piece yes. of media? It is. Wow, what gatekeeping It is book. surface level what? me clapping because pretty flying people, flying punch, they, Goku, Vegeta. They couldn't Kru- fly. Frieza, yay. <laughs> They couldn't fly. You see, you're wrong again. They, How did they propel themselves with such force that they knocked Jiren out? They jumped hard. <laughs> In a straight line, the Jiren was just like, I accept my fate. What is he going to do? Jump back? He couldn't jump hard enough. There are at least three dimensions. <laughs> I mean, what did you want him to do? Jump up? Then he would just fall hard. So you're not thinking. I just want. See, that's your problem. Imagine. This isn't what people want. It's what they need. It's just so lazy. It's so lazy, dude. You just go, <laughs> we need somebody on Goku Blue's level. Based off almost nothing. Frieza, we got it. He's been image training. That makes sense. Um, d- down in heck, y- you you can you don't lose energy. You can transform and you can just stay in that energy. You can just stay in that form. That's the uh, Super Saiyan three thing. Makes a whole lot of sense. That's why he was able to master his uh, golden form. Makes a whole lot of sense. Android seventeen, Gohan, Gohan just go oh double unlock. Yeah, he's done and it And now once. he's on Goku's blues level as well. He's done it once. Why can't he do it again? With no tr- with no additional training. It's just... He already knows how to do why, it. Why not? Why was he not that strong against Boo? Because uh, he forgot how to unlock. What? He forgot how to unlock. No. So he needed to double. No, you didn't hear me. Mm-hmm. Why wasn't he that strong against Boo? Um... Because it's a double unlock. That was the first unlock. That was not a double unlock. I was being hyperbolic no, for the sake no, of... No, no, no. <laughs> no, that's what happened. No. You put it out in the universe. Yep. It, it, it occurred. He had I'm to just reach saying, down deep and get it back. The fact that Laughing Stock Media just is praising this is absurd. Um, yes. But fans praise it. So. The fact that any fan praises this because I you think have to think too hard about it. Nope. See, there you go. You have to think. We're not here to think. We're so here at, to see the colors. At any point in time, Krillin could just rock up and just be like, "I've been secretly training. I'm on Goku Blue's level." What's the contradiction if we're allowing this? Um. What's the problem if this is allowed? We haven't seen Seventeen for many years, and because of that. It allows us to believe uh, that. Humans are able to unlock Ultra Instinct easier. Uh, Grillin does, and he is above Goku's level. Yep, that's fine. You've explained what happened, and you've explained that's why. That's just like a, a Demon Slayer dude, where I just laid out, okay, somehow they got to see the, the demon attack, and somehow they got to relay it back to Tanjiro, and I do all of these steps, he goes, yeah, you got it. <laughs> and I'm like, no, that's not a good thing. It's a whole bunch of somehows. What's the problem with the somehow? What's the problem? See, people what, why? are so, so interested in the forest. And they're just not seeing 
the 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 inner workings of it. But when you talk to a Dragon Ball fan and they go, this doesn't make any sense, and then they turn around and accept this, it's like, okay, so why did you accept the Android 17 thing and then this thing over here just all of a sudden doesn't make sense? Uh, why are there about, standards for caring? Because uh, this is about strong. At least a strong fight. Mm-hmm. And pretty I'm animation. I'm just saying, there's, nobody should be accepting this. There should have been outcry. Based on what? There should have been. What's the last Dragon Ball outcry the fans have had and not related to the movie? Um, Widespread. Widespread. Mm, uh, Vegeta getting jobbed out. Which time? Pick a time. (laughs) They didn't even hate his ultra ego form. They most certainly did not. So. But they were mad that he got jobbed out. Yes. Oh, um, Goku giving Moro a sense of being. A lot of people hated that. That makes sense. But then again, I was just more of a, it's a rehash of the sales stuff. But did they care? Yeah, but did they care afterwards because they got a fight? But it was a terrible Susano goku fight. Or did people rock up and go, what the, is the Susano goku bullshit? I have seen... Almost no discourse about the Susano Goku. It is. It appears to be widely accepted. There's your answer. I don't see how this is okay. You are hurting yourself with these expectations. Yes, but I'm also. I'm also expecting better of people, and mm-hmm. I don't think that that's a bad thing. Nope. Of course not. I'm a Superman fan. Why would that be a bad thing to me? At the same time, at what point do you give up on a certain fan? Now you can once they become a gamer, Josh. Okay, are we? Are these people not in gamer Josh area? I don't think so because they have ten things that they didn't like or that are bad. And what is most were those thing. things? Oh no. What's this guy's name? Uh, Laughing Stock Media. Arc was the final arc of Drake to list those off. Make sure to subscribe to this champion. Like about the Universe Survival Arc. His name is Geek prove for so that we can point out what could have been better so if we didn't care we wouldn't do it no absolutely so to start us out what is the first thing that you want to talk about on your list the first thing i want to talk about on my list of my five and you have your five is happened at the beginning of the arc well not the beginning but in the middle close to the middle and that is majin buu not competing now i know that majin buu falling asleep in the Zen Exhibition match, which we talked about on our other lists that you can check out on Geekdom101's channel. But the thing is that I feel like it would have been so much better to see him actually in the tournament. But for me, the first thing that I'm going to talk about is something that I kind of just want to get out of the way now and I feel like is something that's been kind of talked about to death in this arc in Dragon Ball Super in a whole, and that is power scaling. And Your point to Android 17 is in this! You made the point that it's good! You like Android 17! But then it and then back this video and you go, no it's bad! So at what point does what? this guy become a gamer Josh, as I said before? You, you can't do that! They literally just did. <laughs> to uh, 185k viewers. You can't do that. That's not. That's. You, I mean. He, he. Nobody expected Android 17 to get this strong. Cut over here. You're the power scaling. What the f- is going on? 
power scaling in this arc and the consistency of characters power was just way too inconsistent it was all over the place sometimes a certain character would seemingly be this level of power compared to like a core Vegeta and then it would seem like they're on a completely different level or someone who's fighting like weaker like Jiren yeah exactly like it's just so confusing in this arc and I just oh I don't think they're using power scaling correctly they're most certainly they're not. using inconsistent power yes. levels inconsistent strength feel like they just should have executed far better than they did you know you've had a few disagreements with some of the other power scalers in our community yeah. uh, and i feel like if the series is more consistent that wouldn't happen you know that's the way i see it What's i mean if it was I easier for us to understand i feel like we would all get along much easier when it comes to these discussions agreed my next one on my list pointless bad filler okay there wasn't too much of it here but there's no such thing as filler if this is the original content. Yes. Either it's all filler or none of it is filler. It's just stuff that you didn't like. It's just stuff that didn't, that's not immediately important. So, like I said. Like I said. Disgusting. Ice has been really awesome. Yeah, they completely brought him back out of nowhere and made him a top player. Top, top player. It's like a Bobby Lashley push. <laughs> You know, except 17 has charisma. Yeah, absolutely. So, he can cut a promo. Now, sp speaking of finalists and guys who came back. How does Android 17 have charisma? Uh, his lack of charisma means infinity charisma. No, because Bobby Lashley. <laughs> what was this made? Because Lashley, when he was coupled with MVP, has been a beast. This was, bef this was definitely before that. Okay. It was... Um... March 2018. Oh, yeah, way before. Okay. My next pick is Frieza, all right? I loved Frieza in this arc. I know a lot of folks weren't happy he was coming back again, but his interactions with Goku all throughout this thing was awesome. You know, when they first met up at Baba's place and he elbowed him and whatnot, and then had little fight they had where they knocked each other out before the tournament. And then the thing that Frieza, how he manipulated Frost, and I love Aren't how he kept coming back in the fight. At the end, him and Goku teaming up and <laughs> cheering. So many great Frieza moments, and... You know, we'll talk more about this later, but I they feel like each other out with we Goku haven't seen the end base. of Frieza at all because at the end of the arc, he did get wished back, and he is alive out there he somewhere. So we have not seen the end of Frieza. I don't think he's going to be a villain or anything like that, not a main villain, but his return, Whoops. I think, really Whoops. gave us some great moments, if you ask me. Even though the Majin Buu, uh, I guess, removal was not yeah. good, which we'll talk about in the other video on your channel. It's over there. I think Frieza... Um, did great in this uh, arc and was awesome. Yeah, absolutely. He's really like, especially in Dragon Ball Super, it's he's really like the Joker or like the Lex Luthor or that really manipulative, just master villain uh, behind this franchise that is Dragon Ball. Uh, but getting into someone right. else who had some more development in, in this tournament and someone I was surprised by their development is actually Zeno. And if you recall, toward the end of the final episode, of Dragon Ball Super in 131, we heard about how Zeno actually had foreseen the wish that Android 17 had made. Then why do this? What's positive about the Zenos? They're so cool. Their childlike but that. so strong. He didn't say that. Oh, you're talking about what he's talking yes. about. Okay. Uh, development. They got developed more. Development does not automatically. Are you equal. starting to hate the word development? I yes. <laughs> Put that on my list. <laughs> it is really starting to, um, just be a a, a catch all. Seasoning. Just hey, this is bad because no development. It's like so many of these buzzwords creators use is like that. Uh, that season in Bender had in Futurama mm -hmm. where he'd make a horrible dish and just sprinkle it and be like, whoa, this is tremendous. Just D development. Yep. That's, that's the criticism. That's the praise for the universes to be brought back. And it seemed like he actually had some sort of greater plan involving Goku, perhaps like exposing Goku to these other universes so that whatever this goodness Pause. and- So you're praising for potential stuff that 
You are just this is your head cannon. Straight head cannon. You can't. That's not how you praise. Is so I okay. Praise. So we need to figure out: is this good or is this like? Because if it's good, it's not good because it's a head cannon. So it didn't actually happen. If it, if you like it, will you like in your own story? I should hope that you do. What's the problem? I've just laid out the problems. <laughs> Disagree. <laughs> <laughs> That has led uh, Goku's friends all together could rub off on them and possibly benefit like everyone in general. So I feel like the fact that Zeno, instead of just being this naive child that he appeared to be the entire time, actually having some sort of greater plan is something that added more to his character and uh, made him more interesting and dynamic. Instead of just being naive child, he's actually the actual in king of the universe cuz are we just forgetting that zeno is the king of the universe this is a terrible point yep and, but then gigdom went yeah this is a terrible point this is this um, is this did not happen um shut up he just wanted them to do good. Yeah, is pretty much what what he wanted. And there were some evil people in this arc, but oh yeah. Um, speaking of development, next one's got to be Vegeta. That's my next one. Mm -hmm. Vegeta was amazing from start to finish in this entire arc. Probably my favorite character in this arc. He starts out, you know, with his wife being pregnant. We saw some comedy there, and then and that was awesome. And then when the tournament began, this is not you know, a we good saw image for Vegeta, Vegeta really getting a lot of eliminations early. He was racking them up. There were so many great moments here, including when he tries to tap into Ultra Instinct, ends up getting beat up over it. Loved that. I loved when he evolved beyond blue, and I loved yeah. the whole thing with. Even though I wasn't a fan of how he eliminated Topo, the fact that he fought him like that, and then the fact oh. that. How could you love him going beyond blue? How it, it's meaningless. It. it did have it's meaning. It's just it another form. It's just another strong form. Yeah, it made him stronger. It's a different shade of to... blue. It, it means nothing. It meant something to this arc because it allowed Vegeta to eliminate... So what's... See, oh, like... man, there's this really strong person over there. Conviction! And now I'm stronger. I mean, <laughs> that's anime, baby. It's anime, baby. This is not a good thing. It's not a bad thing. It is a bad thing. Oh. Vegeta got thrown out and gave Goku his last bit of energy and then had these awesome speeches all throughout. Yeah. You oh, know, this, this is giving people energy stuff. <laughs> it's so inconsistent. Yep. We've seen it, I think, two times canonically. Or three times. What were the three? Um, we got this. We got... Uh, Frieza did it in this arc. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. And we got uh, Gohan. Gohan, Krillin, 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 Piccolo. What does it mean to give your energy? How do you give your energy to somebody? All right, planet, give me that stupid energy. Get this. Welcome. To Super Vegeta's Big Bang Attack! Pew! Twirl, twirl stick. Welcome to Oblivion! It's the old Budokai games, that is. We play too much of them. Yes, absolutely. Um, Alright, I need to absorb someone. No! <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean... I just, I I don't understand. Oh, Dragon Ball fans, man! How could you understand them? It's just awesome, and it's just cool, and it's just <laughs> and they've just morphed into Demon Slayer fans. Yep, because just... the same people on my Facebook that I'm friends with uh, talked about Dragon Ball Super, and they just transitioned right into Demon Slayer, Super, right over. into Mugi Train. Yep, that's the big hype now. Is it though anymore? It's gonna be. Uh, is the anime out yet? 
Um, it's out and they're finishing the the new arc starts up in three days. Okay, because I've heard almost nothing about it. It's, it's just been the train stuff. But even with the train stuff, like I heard stuff about uh Super when it was just Battle of Gods again. I've heard nothing. Yeah, I, I haven't really heard anything either. We'll see. Well, they're just waiting on their next episode, 19. The Saiyans about Kakarot. Just great, great stuff with Vegeta. And I really it's thought the same. Super as a whole, I think, has done a, a, a good, a great work of making Vegeta even more likable yeah. uh, throughout the entire run. No matter what you think about Super, Vegeta's awesome in it. Yeah, absolutely. And that's one of the things I've really liked about Super as a series thus far that, you know, compared to another series that had come out before this in Dragon Ball GT, um, they didn't really use Vegeta and some of these other characters right. as much as Super really does. So They didn't use like them as much. positive yep. for this arc and for Super, but... For me, it's an ending, and that is the kind of semi-cliffhanger ending that we were left with for the end of this arc, the universe survival arc. And I, you know, honestly, when it comes to, like, the concepts, when it comes to the greater ideas and themes that were conveyed, I really did like the ending of this arc. And I feel like even though maybe some of what happened throughout the arc was not as consequential as we would have liked, and we will talk about that again on this other list, uh, the fact of the matter is is that it left a lot of new possibilities open, new characters to be able to return in the future of Dragon Ball and really be able to do more, you know, than it started out as. So I feel like... He started out as what? So first off, themes. Um, now it's just, hey, we got a lot of stuff that we could do. Are you telling There's me like that... a Like four of the universes were too strong, so they can't be here. Okay, so we got four universes that we could potentially pull from. Cool. Oh, they make Jiren look like a bunch of babies. They're, that's the real. It's just a. It's just a universe full of Jirens. Jiren is base level over there. That's gonna be the real universe nine. Oh, look out! Don't make that face. This is nothing to be hyped up over. Why? It's just oh man, I wonder where this would go. Oh, there's the goat man that's always been in the universe, and he's free now. Did you expect that? No, you didn't. Hey, guess what? Now there's a dude that just wished himself to be stronger. We're not doing anything with these other universes or these any other these other people. Yet. I do not want to see your bull crap break dimension, new universe. How, how are we going to get? I don't want to see that. I don't think that they're going there. How? Because again, we've got we got six and seven. Mm -hmm. Those are the good universes. And then we got a plethora of bums of who bums. gives a crap design bums. Yep. Nobody's trying to go to Wolf Universe. You don't know that. I I like B stars now, so maybe I'm trying to go to Wolf Universe. They are. Maybe they'll have a Lagoshi. They are strong. They are base uh, boo level Goku mm -hmm. level. Mm -hmm. That's the strongest dudes there. What does that universe have to offer? Oh, there was this secret dude that... Of course, there's this secret dude that's been there the whole time and nobody knew about. I mean, isn't that Dragon Ball? We got that Cell. Is. We got Boo. We got Moro. What do you What do you want? Jero? Granola and his two Dragon Balls that you just need to get. And that, hey, guess what? Those Dragon Balls, they don't have that one year thing where they where they turn into stone. So you can just you can just grab as they're about to fly away, you can just grab them and you can just wish again. Oh, also guess what? He met up with Bardock once. Yeah. Don't you remember Bardock? You like Bardock. This is the new good Bardock. He he's, was a he's good, a good guy. Yep. He wanted to save them. He was tired he's tired of this world and its in destruction and taking over planet. He just wants a family. So we have Two instances of Bardock, and both instances of his his was going. Ah, I just want to help people. I just want to help people. That's all I want to do. Two canon Bardock appearances, and it's just good Bardock. And all these moths going. Oh, he's had a lifetime of of hurting people. He just wants to help. We ain't seen none of that. 
How do we know that he's just not doing planets full of just, as he was just the big monkey man, he just shrinks down and just like, y'all can go. How do we know we're not, and we're not doing that? We got two appearances of him and he's doing good guy stuff. He's such a good This is guy. manifest destiny bullshit. When Vegeta just goes, ah, so being good runs in your bloodline, huh, Kakarot? And people are like, no, he was just guessing. He's just saying that because, no. Why would somebody write for a character to say that if it was not any sort of true? Uh, it's got to be at Dragon least Ball. some kind. Because it doesn't matter. Nothing matters. That's why. Uh, certain things matter, but only things that I want to matter. matter. The only thing that matters matter. Mm -hmm. And everything else doesn't matter. <laughs> hey, as he said, there's certain episodes that matter. And that's what matters. And here, hey, who knows what the possibilities for Dragon Ball is. We got whole new universes. We got all these new people. 17 is real strong. He's chilling out there. Goat man. One thing to take away from this, it's really that uh, the Tournament of Power left us with a greater expanded lore than what we had before. Yep, and many of those questions may or may not be resolved with the movie, but it definitely seems that the show, or at least the franchise, will oh, continue. Sorry, so, I forgot about the movie. Bardock was always just here. Yep, see? She's always just over there. Sometimes it just happens that way. I mean, we, you know. No, I don't know. Oh. I really don't know. Well, why wouldn't the Zenos give them enough time to find people? It's a universe. Because there's only like 16 planets with habitable life. Yeah, sure. Earth. Okay, that's fine. Why wouldn't they give them time? No, but the, it was the same for every universe. They got the same amount of time. Mm. And it's a universe. You, sh you should know everybody your, the strength of your people in your universe. That's a failure in the angels part. Destroyed. That's dumb. There's billions on one planet. Mm -hmm. What did what did the what did the universe six or whatever or seven get? Namekians and Saiyans, and then a giant Winnie the Pooh bear thing, and a robot. Robot could have been done on Earth. <laughs> My last one is one where I think a lot of people are gonna. This is why they watch Dragon Ball. Great fights and great action. Dragon Ball Super did not really get... But you Mute your phone. Nah, it's impossible. He's got an important call coming. Out. You've already gave it up to the animation. And in the animation, you comboed into the fights. But now you're doing the fights in this as well? What's the problem? And what about all the not great fights? There were none. Tien? It was great fight. Versus Bugman? It was, it was a great fight because of the exploration of the character of Tien. Ah, uh, the themes the of themes martial arts. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take this. <laughs> many great fights prior to this. There was a few. There was a few, mostly in the Trunks arc. Um, but this arc gave us tons of great action. And no matter what you can say, no matter how you slice it, the majority of this arc, especially the tournament side, was not boring. There yeah. was maybe two episodes that were boring out of, you know, 60 or whatever. I forgot how many there were. <laughs> but a lot of it was not boring at all. There was some... That's all it takes to be good. Yep. Just not don't boring. Be boring. What does that mean to one geekdom? Apparently, action and 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 animation, hype, hype stuff. Great fights. Goku versus Jiren, both in one hundred nine and one hundred ten, and in one hundred thirty, were fantastic. Um, Goku and Kefla was a lot of fun. I think mm -hmm. um, there was just a lot of good stuff in this. Hey, Goku versus this dude. Goku versus this girl. They were and, good, and there's some great stuff there. 110, 111, and 130. There's some good stuff there. That's fun. This arc, uh, action-wise, and it did not bore. And that, to me, is, is I think, needs to be talked about. So It's, it it's not boring, and it needs to be talked about. Y'all not talking about how it's not boring. Hey, why is, why is the tournament of power good? Because it's not boring. Let's get this conversation going. It's not boring. Your turn.
I think it was. But see, that's what I'm talking about there. Y'all just... Uh, that's my last one. What do you think? Yeah, definitely. This is something that I really wanted to see in an arc that's really all about big fights in one gigantic fight that's happening throughout. Terrible. And so I really wanted to see... How many episodes of Tournament of Power? Oh, it's a chunky boy. I'm going at least... I'm going... 38. I was going 42. Mm, oh, that feels good. Shoot. There it is. Um, yeah, come on now. Wait, are we talking about also with the? No, um, hmm. You know what? That's a good point. I'm going just when they're inside the tournament. All right. Um, the Wikipedia says that it starts at seventy-seven and ends at one thirty-one. But that's also with all the other stuff. So let's knock so, out about 15. I'll, I'll, I'll look up uh, Dragon Ball Super episodes. Mm-hmm. Because I just want to know if it was possible for there to be a more standard type of tournament. Play, 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 let it rip. Play, 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 play. Krillin, show them your true power. Out of control, Berserker. Oh, wait, we're already in the tournament. Um, Our time is here in the void. Uh, 80 warriors prepare for battle. So it starts at 97, and it ends at 131. So that was episode 21 of the arc. So 55 of the arc, 21. So that's 34. 34 episodes. I don't remember what I said. Oh, you said 38. I said 42. Hey, look at that. You mean to tell me... I don't miss. Why wouldn't you take away three of these? Could make it four tournaments. I mean, uh, four uh, universes. Take the best characters out of the ones you've got and make ten. all them universes. And then do a thing... Standardized tournament with different locations. Sure, have them fight in a volcano in an ice world. Hey, whatever. But hey, you didn't need all these non-designed bums that get eliminated almost instantly. We didn't need Raditz level people coming up and trying to contend with Goku. It means nothing that Vegeta got a got a checklist of I took out thirty three people, took out thirty three bums. Some big fights, and they really had Goku basically go around and put on like barn burners with all these people, you know, walking up to like the AJ Styles and the Shinsuke Nakamura's and everyone of the Tournament of Power and be like, okay, let's have these Boy. crazy five star or you know six star matches, but um. There were no five or six star matches in the Tournament of Power. There was a lot of hype moments. But as far as the psychology of the fights, as far as the action within the fights, not just the Atata stuff until it's no longer Atata stuff, it is very, very, um, eh. I don't care about Jiren's. I only, I'm I'm by myself. I don't need friends. And Goku going, yes, I do need friends. My friends are my power. And he gets stronger. And, and Jiren's like, ah, I guess friends are. And he's getting thrown out of the ring. I don't, I don't care about that. No. Right. <laughs> uh, no, so I, mean, I really did, I really did like a lot of the fights that were had in this arc. Yeah, okay. Like, why would it I care about what just happened It was the best here? action in Super. I don't know if it compares to the classic Dragon Ball Z fights or Dragon Ball I really don't know if I want to say that, but visually they I were do not. Very- no, take uh, the best he, fight. He needs to. He needs more time to absorb. Take it. the best fight in Dragon Ball proper, and then match it up against this, better or worse. No, nah, that's not fair. He's I- saying because they're saying the action as a whole. Take the action as a whole and whatever you want, and match it up. Yeah, see, you got You it. can compare, but you just no. being a coward, just like, I don't want to say that this is better than the than the Z that everybody loves, so I'll just say nothing. Very stunning, especially the Goku Jiren stuff, yeah. and 
you know, it was, as far as Super goes, the best of Super when it comes to combat. So, what is your list? Let us know down below what are 10 things that you liked about the Universal Survival Arc. And don't forget to head over to Laughing Stock Media so you can hear the 10 things that we did not like about the arc. Um, because there's good and bad, but overall, I had fun watching it. So, thanks for being that's what matters. You had fun, and as I always say, and again, it's not what you liked. The title says good, it's the same thing. If you just put what we what I liked, we probably wouldn't do this video. But now that we're in here, uh, that's like an eight. Uh, yeah, they, 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 the hype beast ain't sash. Hey, sash. Number one, 17, equal sign, MVP. Number two, Vegeta's growth in both power and character. Number three, power was first. Gohan got his groove back. He power. better keep it. Power. Number four, Ultra Instinct. Power. Number five, Freeze's character growth. And you know he has plans to mess with the gods in the future. Sure. Whoops. Number six, Master Roshi. That's all it was. Okay, cool. <laughs> I raping a girl till she eliminates herself. Cool. Uh, number seven, Beerus learns to respect Universe 17. Maybe. No, oh no. Oh no. Maybe. We're just going cue ball. You did pretty good because you eliminated three people. One with a shoe. Maybe he could train a few more of them. Number eight, Pride Troopers. Jiren, Topo, and Dispo especially. No love for our boy Tupper, but he'll get there. You say especially like those aren't the only. <laughs> <laughs> Number nine. Hey, this was a great pizza. Especially the sauce, cheese, and the pepperoni. Bill. <laughs> Number nine. Ultra Instinct Song. No f Number 10, for the first time, every major character had a moment to don't, shine. Don't read another one. A don't don't even finish that one. There's a lot more. I don't one. care. No. <laughs> Unbelievable. That, moment to shine? It's artificially a moment to shine because if it wasn't Krillin, it could have been anybody. If it wasn't Tien, it could have been anybody. Yeah, like you said, eight. Yeah, this is... Dude. This is a lot of... We back. Phil did it. He broke the curse. He broke the spell. Dude, people love the Phil content. It's really weird but that they do. It's funny that there's a handful of people that really love it, but views-wise, oh, they do not love yeah, that Phil. No, it's not... It's not It's for, for y'all. It's for it's us. The people that do like it, they like it, and the people that don't, hey, you ain't got to watch it. That's a great thing. Well, I don't care if you watch it. <laughs> so we have Phil in our back pocket every now and again if we ever run out of our juice. Yeah. So that's good. And it's he's every day. And with this pre-stream podcast, there's clips abound. There's three to four clips every day now. He's the best. He's terrible. Now he's just lying about uh detractor stealing money out of his account for ye for months or years. Five to ten thousand dollars. They were and just he taking never noticed. Dude. That's fine. What a liar. Yeah, <laughs> this is this is say stuff. Say stuff. And this did not say stuff. Mm -hmm. Y'all just went cool, awesome character development. Frieza. Animation fighting. And, cool. and that made up for substance. Many characters. Hey, one of my points is concepts. <laughs> the concepts was in it, you know, because of the overall themes of the. Okay, thanks. Cool. Uh, uh, we need to decide what we're doing for the stream Saturday. Sure do. Uh, so we got the stream Saturday. When are you starting your? Don't roll your eyes. Don't roll your eyes. When are you yeah, starting your? Just roll my eyes. What, what, any... uh, what 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 am I doing? I don't know if, where I'm. Am I streaming here or my room? What's going on? I don't oh, uh, if it's the Knockout City game, you could do it in your room. You could just take the mic, hook it up to the uh, PS5, um, mute Four. your end game. Oh uh, yeah, PS4, mute your end game chat, and the stream chat will get it. Oh, okay, wait, what? So you know, if you're playing with teams or something, uh, they would hear your audio. Okay, but um. 
Because first it's going to be um, Fall Guys. Okay. So the the audience will get the in game sounds. No, no, the game in game sounds are fine. Uh, no, no, that's 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 what I'm wondering. Oh yeah, yeah, no, that's yeah. that's that you get. That. Okay. Okay, you just don't want your mic to go out to other people, potentially. Yeah, I don't give a crap. About okay, yeah. Then it's you're always good. muted, so it, whatever. Yeah, yeah, you're good, then. But I don't... But when it, uh, If it's my, a PC my, game or My something? biggest thing is I don't know... You say you just, bam, you do it, but... You hit the share button. It goes YouTube, Twitch, whatever. And then sign it to Twitch. Yeah, you sign okay. it to Twitch, or you can sign it to the List Exists YouTube. I'll have to test that out first mm-hmm. to see if it's cool. Mm-hmm. All right. Yeah, this, it'll probably be Saturday and early. Yeah, it might be tomorrow. Who knows? Who cares? I don't care. I certainly don't care. <laughs> it's just going to be, hey, here it is. <laughs> Whatever. Bruh, I know that feeling. Silence. Uh, so, yeah, look forward to that um, wherever he streams at. Uh, probably on the Twitch. Um, yeah, I think we're, we're almost done with the year. What a year it was. Maybe I'll do like a retrospective video of some of our stuff. We're we're out of here. <laughs> <laughs>